Hey, Dr. Sean here. You want to know why this woman who's 59 years old is so beautiful, so attractive? Well, you're going to want to stay with me throughout this entire video because I'm going to get into the explanation from a medical perspective as a physician, MD researcher, specialized in health performance optimization, why this woman is so attractive at her age of 59. So we're going to explain that and we're going to uh, give you the inside perspective of what's going on. Not just why she looks good on the outside, but we're going to look inside her body so you can see from the inside out why she is so attractive. So um, why don't I just tell you the, the particular reason I find? I'll tell you why. Because the majority of people who are going to see this video would not believe it if I told you. You just dismiss it. You have got to hear it. And you've got, more importantly, to see the science, why that is the case. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get into science and explain this. And uh, it's the most important thing for you to be able to appreciate this through your senses. I tell it time and time again. So we'll start with the science. But let's first get a good look at her, Caroline. This is her without all the editing going on. So you can take a look a little closer. And if you want to follow Caroline, uh, I found her on the Internet just by accident. I approached her back because I'm a physician researcher looking at health optimization. And this woman was, was, a, was, it was glaringly apparent to me that she was a healthy woman. So anyway, we got started and I've been on three of her um, IG lives already working with her. And I was surprised, not too surprised, but just the other, other day I noticed that Dr. Anthony Chafee did a live with her. So he, you know, I'm not the only one that can pick up on who's healthy. Dr. Chafee did too. So let's start looking at the science. Okay, so we're going to take a look inside of Carolyn, all right? We're going to start with an MRI of her abdomen, okay? We're going to do a transverse plane that's like a pizza slice through her. It's going to reveal an image like this that's going to look very different than this one, okay? This one is not a healthy image, but let's look at Carolyn's. And what do we find out when we look at Karen's image? So if you've been following me for a while, you know a healthy MRI, a healthy abdomen, is mostly dark and oval shape. Oval shape and mostly dark is Carolyn, okay? She looks really good. The interesting thing is she's got almost no visceral fat, okay? No visceral fat. She's got a nice thin layer of healthy superficial subcutaneous fat. She does not have deep subcutaneous fat, does not have love handles, which is the subjects of other videos I've done. Her love handles are almost non-existent. And that's the way you want. You want to have a nice layer of superficial subcutaneous fat. You don't want deep subcutaneous fat. You do not want love handles. And you uh, do not want visceral fat. So Carolyn's done a great job. Well, let's take a look at um, Carolyn compared to the average person, okay? The average kind of individual who comes to me, works with me, who's in trouble, they've got visceral fat because um, they haven't done what Caroline has done. Okay, so what, um, here's Caroline's image, and this is uh, a, a, another client who came to me, and they are filled with visceral fat. They have huge love handles, and they have very deep subcutaneous fat. See that black line that, de that defines deep subcutaneous fat? They're huge, and Caroline's got none of that. Now, Carolyn's muscles are really lean, really dark. They're almost all, you know, very, very solid. Look at this client's muscles. Huge amount of inflammatory fat. That's human marbling. Human marbling that's being deposited within those muscles, and they're destroying the quality of those muscles and the performance of those muscles. So uh, this person has got a problem. We got to turn them around quickly, and their problem is they ate too many processed foods and too many carbohydrates causing that deposition. Carolyn, let's get into her secret. What did Carolyn do to do this? Well, it's better described what she didn't do. She did not eat a lot of carbohydrates. She went Atkins decades ago. So she has, for the majority of her life, eliminated carbohydrates and eaten mostly just fat and protein. And as a consequence, she has preserved her youthful figure. This, if I had to guess how old this individual was, based on my knowledge of abdomens, I would say this individual is in their 20s or teens even. Uh, but Carolyn is 59. And you would look like this if you did what she did decades of eating low carb Atkins, but almost nobody ever. I don't know anybody else who has. If you know somebody who has, send them my way because I'd probably be interested in studying them. I'd certainly ask them to do an MRI. Carolyn 
did an MRI for me. So it was great to have that. And so I'm so grateful that she agreed to allow her images and allow me to, to do some educational teaching because she is very committed to helping out her followers. So um, I'm jumping on a van ride and I'm trying to help out my followers and I'm using her images that she gracefully consented me to do. So a big difference, uh, almost no carbohydrates, no processed foods and and uh, then lots of carbohydrates and, and lots of processed foods. Well, let's take another look at Caroline. Okay, we're going to try to take a look inside her this time through the uh, sagittal plane. Okay, so we're going to take a slice through her upper and lower portion of her body, and it produces this kind of an image. Okay, so in this image, her um, back is here, her feet are here, and her head is up in this area here. And so this is inside her abdomen. She has almost no visceral fat that we can see in there. And she has an incredibly flat abdomen, incredibly flat abdomen. Now, this is a sign that I've talked about dad bods and poo gene abdomens because of the trickle effect of these inflammatory cytokines and substances that get released from visceral fat over a period of time. It has more to do with biochemistry than it does with mechanics, pushing it out. It's more the weakening of the structures from the trickle trickle of all the inflammation in that visceral fat causing that abdomen sticking out. Now you may want to excuse this because you know you play football and you just had a big belly your whole life, or I've had a lot of babies and I, it's, I have a, a, a stomach that sticks out. No, it's the carbohydrates, it's the processed foods, it's the snacking and, and it's deposition of visceral fat wearing out the structures. I'm saying that in love because I want you to reverse it, and you can. Carolyn has nothing to reverse. She's never had it. She's had three babies. It's not because she had pregnancies, okay? It may be because those pregnancies led for you to eat a lot of carbohydrates and processed foods and get you a know, strawberry shortcake or whatever it is that you carved out probably for the course of your life, but that is what is going on, that inflammatory effect um, of those uh, visceral fat uh, cells. So here's a red line, show that flat abdomen. That's what you want to have. You want a, a very flat abdomen. And listen, if you're the majority of people who li are listening to this thing, you had it when you were 14, 15, 16, 17 years of age, and you lost it. It's not because you're aged. It's not. It is because of visceral fat. Pin a rose on the cause, okay? Don't whitewash this. Believe me, if you don't, you're not going to ever get rid of it to improve the quality of your life, okay? So what do you got to do? What are the strategies? I've shared these before. Take a screenshot. And now you know the strategies to get rid of that visceral fat. But just recently, I did this video. So you can watch this video uh, and, and have the explanations towards the end. I go through those, okay? What those strategies are for the first time I explain them. Now, they're not all of them. I cover nine of 47 strategies that I give my clients, but these nine are awesome and they will um, dramatically eliminate visceral fat. If you really want to get rid of it fast, you come consider working with me. Now, you should follow some things besides an MRI of your abdomen and looking at visceral fat. This video explains what else you can do. So click on it and watch this short 17 minute video so you can learn the metrics that you got to follow to optimize your body, get rid of visceral fat, improve your appearance, and improve your performance in how you live. And, and if you want to have really nice toned muscles uh, and legs like Carolyn has, um, then you're going to want to consider doing this, learning about um, uh, ways of exercise and you do maximum intensity exercise to, to make sure you get rid of that inflammatory fat in those muscles and to help get rid of visceral fat so you have really nice tonicity. So you can click on this video, which is one of my most popular videos, and find out an explanation for what you got to do to get rid of declining muscle tonicity and improve the appearance uh, of your, your muscles, to include your legs and your arms and really your abdomen as well. All right, so um, I hope you uh, like this video. Uh, if you did, if you appreciate the content and the opportunity to see inside uh, and, and have an explanation from a medical perspective, why people appear the way they do, and why they enjoy better quality of life, then give it a like 
And please subscribe to my channel so I can get more subscribers and reach more people for this video to other people so that they have the benefit of this content uh, in this video and become aware of my channel. My passion is to reverse chronic disease and help as, as, as much as possible our species, humanity, solve the biggest problem, which is chronic disease. And so you can help me by sharing these videos and sharing this content. And uh, as always, I love comments. I love questions. I like to engage with my followers. So uh, share, those, uh, share those questions um, uh, on here uh, during this particular video. And uh, as always, I'm soliciting for some really motivated clients to help me in my research looking uh, at the be very best strategies for optimizing people. Um, it's not free. It costs some money. You got to be able to afford to purchase the MRIs, uh, which are the best modality to do this, and you got to be able to come see me in Minneapolis. If you are also, besides able to do those two things, very motivated, so they, you know, uh, I don't have to sit there and convince you to do, you know, why you got to do all these things that you, you just really want to optimize, be the best biological version of yourself, then, you know, that's the other requirement I take a look at is your degree of motivation. All right. Well, thank you very much for the privilege and the honor it is to bring you this, this content. And I will look forward to sharing more health optimizing content with you in the future and other videos. All right. Dr. Sean out.